this action. My Lords, I thank the noble Lady Baroness Tyler for securing this debate. I started by contemplating £20. What does that mean to different people in our society? And like the, noble, like the right reverend prelate, I focused on food. And I thought about the people in this chamber and people who live around us here in Westminster. And I looked at some of the restaurants around us here in Westminster. The Corinthia Hotel, just up the road, you can get a baked fig starter for 18 pounds. The Ivy Restaurant, you can get a shepherd's pie for 19 pounds 50. Lunch at the Ritz, you can get a veal shortbread starter for 28 pounds. Now, also visiting us here very briefly in Westminster were people testifying to the Work and Pensions Committee, telling, them, telling that committee what £20 meant to them. Anthony Lynham said, it means do I go hungry or do my kids go hungry? Amina Nagawa said, already with the £20 I already go without food and my son cannot eat something nutritious. Gemma Widowfield said she'd buy essentials on her credit card and just stack the debt up. The Right Reverend Prelate talked about the need for structural change. We have a crisis of inequality in our society. £20 means the world to some people. It means a veal shortbread starter to other people. And as the noble Lord Lord Davies just said, this isn't just individual households of people, it's whole communities. Now, Citizens Advice assessed the community impact of this cut, as the government appears not to have. And it worked out that for each one pound of investment that the government might put in its levelling up fund, one pound 80 was being taken from the local economies, the poorest economies in our society, targeted by the levelling up fund. So we come back to food. We think about what people might be eating in Doncaster or Wigan or Merthyr Tidville. If they're eating out at all, it might be two pounds in the calf for a pie and chips. It probably won't be eating out at all. It will be shopping around in the supermarkets to find the cheapest possible thing to actually put food into people's mouths. My Lords, the people dining at the Ritz and the Ivy are taking the food out of the mouths of the children who cannot eat now. £20 is not much, but to take that £20 away as well is absolutely unconscionable. My Lords, uh, 